Hello, well I'm back from leading a trade mission to four countries in Latin America, Mexico, Colombia, Chile and Brazil. Because of their size and increasing wealth, Mexico and Brazil in particular have more of a presence in global affairs than ever before. They're good people for us to know and for us to get to know even better. All governments look out for the interests of their own countries first. No surprises there, that's what I do every day for New Zealand. But there's a lot to be achieved by working together with other countries. To do that, we need to make sure that they know what we in New Zealand are all about. That means working non-stop to ensure that our view is seen and most importantly is heard. My overseas trips are an opportunity to build personal relationships with other leaders. That matters. Not because I'm hanging out to try out a new look, though you have to admit, some are more fetching than others. But because whatever line of work you're in, relationships actually matter. That's why each New Zealand Prime Minister makes a point of regular contact with their counterpart across the Tasman. We don't always have the same views as Australia on issues, but the depth of links between our countries makes it vital that a New Zealand Prime Minister can pick up the phone and call Canberra whenever they need to, and vice versa. Contrast that with South America, and a place like Sao Paulo, say. It's an extraordinary city of over 20 million people that most New Zealanders are unfamiliar with. If it's true that a picture speaks a thousand words, then a visit speaks a million. And that's another point of leaders' visits overseas. They're often reciprocated. It's good for us to host foreign leaders here so they can see firsthand what we're about and feel, hopefully through more ways than jet lag, how our location contributes to our global view. We want them to understand, for example, why restrictions on global trade and agricultural goods are so harmful to us and so frustrating. We're a trading nation. Without trade, our standard of living would be unimaginably impoverished. So it's important that our other ministers and I help our business leaders open doors to new trade opportunities, then nudge the wedges under those doors again from time to time to make sure they stay open. It's also important that we maintain a dialogue with other countries about human rights and civil rights, which for too many people in the world are not actually rights at all. New Zealand is seeking a seat on the UN Security Council in 2015. It's an ambitious goal, but we're worthy of the responsibility it would bring. The government, and our diplomats in particular, are working really hard to get us there, and they have my total support.